Welcome back to my channel. I am the Good, the Bad, and the Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm about to get started with your bi-weekly love reading. I just have a quick announcement. Um, I still have a BOGO deal running through the end of May, so if you want to take advantage of that, it's a good time to do it. Um, all you have to do is navigate to my website, which is below in the description, and there'll be a... Um, a little area at the top of the scheduling page there where you can enter a code. Um, what you do is enter code BOGO-MAY, that's B-O-G-O-MAY, to receive, uh, to get, buy one, get one, uh, any of my tarot reading services. So the other, the free reading must be of equal or lesser value than the original reading that you choose. I will email you automatically once you sign up for it, and actually it shows up in my um, on my end that you chose the, the BOGO May coupon. So I will email you and you will get your second reading free. Uh, so this is a wonderful uh, way to, if you have like a particular reading that you really like, um, people have been signing up for, for example, emergency relationship readings. Um, I've gotten a few people sign up for the Rumi Oracle guidance message. Um, so if you really, if there's a particular reading type that you really enjoy, um, you can buy one, get one free, and you don't have to use the second free reading at the same date. You can use it as, at a later date um, of your choosing. So that's going through the end of May. We're almost at the end of May, so you might want to take advantage of that. I won't be offering this deal for a while. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that was my announcement. Um, for those of you on Patreon, I am doing a special, uh, guidance message for you at the beginning of your reading. So, um, it's going to be a little bit of a longer reading on your end, but for the rest of you guys on YouTube, um, we're going to go into the bi-weekly love reading now. It's the 15th, 2018. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, and thank you for your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes, and your views are off the chart uh, over the last bi-weekly reading, so y'all are going uh, near the top here. Uh, thank you for that, um, and happy birthday, uh, if I didn't mention it before. So if you are still celebrating your birthday this month, um, I want to wish you a happy birthday, even though we are officially in Gemini season. Um, if I forgot to wish you a happy birthday, then happy birthday. All right, let's see what's going on for Taurus with regards to their love lives from June 1st through the 15th, 2018. What does Taurus need to know, Spirit? What are the bi-weekly love messages and energies that you have for the sign of Taurus from June 1st through the 15th, 2018? This reading is for all Taurus suns, moons, rising. Taurus is on the house cusp, and also if you have your Venus in Taurus. What does Taurus need to know? We're going to do the lives. Spirit from June 1st to the 15th, 2020. Taurus. And one more for Taurus here. situation, what is helping or hindering you, what has put you here, your thoughts and feelings over the next two weeks, your recent past, and your near future. Okay. The bottom of the deck, we have the lovers in reverse, it's kind of Gemini. So <clears throat> this is a soulmate card, and this can't indicate uh, disharmony within a union. Okay, usually this is a soulmate union. Um, it can indicate, you know, a love relationship that constantly fizzles out, the end of a soulmate contract, possibly a breakup. Um, it may also indicate not being able to choose, little diff or difficulty in choosing. Um, for some of you, it's difficulty 
uh, relating to your soulmate here on the earth plane. It can indicate also the end of a soulmate contract. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and um, take a look at the rest of the cards. Of course, that is the underlying theme or challenge of your reading. Five of Cups in reverse. Your challenge is the Ace of Wands. What has put you here is the Moon. Your thoughts and feelings are the Seven of Wands. Your recent past is the Nine of Coins. And your near future is the Page of Cups. Okay, so definitely um, there are a lot of emotions here. We also have Wands energy, which indicate your ability to manifest things. Um, you also have a uh, major arcana, so it looks like the moon, uh, whenever I see the moon card, to me it represents a lunar cycle or a lunar phase and the moon itself exerting influence on you in some way, whether it's your moon sign being affected, your, the, the moon itself. So we'll talk about that, but uh, your current situation in June is the five of cups in reverse. Okay, so I see someone here who could be wallowing in sorrow. Okay, I do see that, you know, with the spilled cups here, there has been a loss. Okay, but you're, um, instead of fo focusing or changing direction, focusing on something more positive, you're continuing to dwell on the past, something that happened in the past, whether it was a lost friendship, a lost relationship, lost love. You still have two cups here standing which to me represents um, possibly another relationship or good things, the good things that you have going for you. But you choose to stay and you choose to dwell on something here that has, um, you know, whether it's a grieving process that you're going through, it just says that, you know, I do think the worst is over, you're coming out of it, but just be careful that you don't stay in that place for too long. Um, your challenge is the Ace of Wands. So this is creativity, it's also passion, um, you know, can't start a fire without a spark, this is that spark. Um, it's the spark of passion that brings lovers together. It's um, the little flame inside you that helps you get projects going. Um, so it seems that you, um, this is something that can help you, okay, it may also be something that is currently lacking maybe in a relationship or uh, you know this can indicate birth, sexuality, etc. Um, some of you may be trying to get pregnant and that's been difficult. Um, if you're dealing with a fire sign Leo Aries Sagittarius um, they may be um, having trouble connecting with you um, on a passionate, uh, from a passionate standpoint, passion standpoint, um, they may lack inspiration as well. But remember that you are the central character here. You are the person we're reading for. So it seems to me that um, what is a challenge for you or what can help you is um, you need uh, something to reignite you from a passion standpoint. What has put you here is the moon. Okay, I, I feel like um, there's been doubts and fears along your path. Um, I also feel like a lot of things have just been confusing for you lately. Uh, you may have been feeling very lost and, and dealing with your shadow side, dealing with difficult emotions, the subconscious. I'm looking at the waves here and it's been kind of a dark and stormy period for you as you've been navigating in the moonlight you've had to rely on your intuition quite a bit um, things haven't exactly appeared the way that they seemed when you look at things in the moonlight they look a lot different at night than they do during the day so everything's kind of had a shadow You've been dealing with the shadow side a lot, walking on the shadow side a lot. Um, but I feel like you're coming out of that and I do see you having a breakthrough this month. Um, 
you just need to kind of dry out a bit. <laughs> I feel like you've been kind of, um, yeah, just see you feeling a bit lost on your path here. Now in the past you have the Nine of Coins. So this is fantastic for wealth, independence. Um, I also see that, you know, you have abundance in your life. Um, some of you, um, I, I could be reading for someone here who is single or someone who doesn't, gives off the impression that they don't need anyone, um, simply uh, they can take care of themselves. You may have um, also a little pet. I see she has a pet bird here. So I feel like this, I may be reading for someone that does have a strong connection with animals, birds, etc. But um, I, I really see someone here who, who can take care of themselves, quite independent, the independent type. You just may have, um, over the last past lunar cycle, I think we had, yeah, it was the full moon in Taurus, wasn't it? Or did we have, I think it was a full moon in Taurus, but whenever the last full moon was, it was difficult for you, or it brought a lot of things up for you emotionally, in terms of your emotions. Um, you may have a Pisces moon, Cancer moon. Scorpio moon, um, the moon to me can represent any of those signs, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, particularly the sign of Cancer. Okay, but um, I see you like expunging a lot of negativity. I see you going through like, maybe you had to relive some things, maybe you had to release some emotions. That's the word I was looking for, releasing. You had to release some things emotionally. Um, and like I said, your challenge is to kind of dry out like a piece of wood so you can ignite again. In terms of your thoughts and feelings, you have the Seven of Wands. See him taking the sleep. All right. Uh, it's kind of like a mission impossible here. You have a lot going on. You have a lot of things coming at you. Kind of look at this. It's like an obstacle course. Okay, so... You have to be nimble on your feet. Uh, you've got to balance a lot. You have a lot of things challenging you at this time. It can be a very challenging period for you. But you are up to the task, okay? You've prepared for this. Um, you're physically fit. You're, you're physically able to take it on, okay? But it's going to require you to be quick on your feet, quick in your mind. Um, the word agility, okay, you have to be agile at this point and be able to move quickly. So uh, I do see challenges ahead for you. Emotionally, what you're going to be thinking and feeling is maybe some frustration, um, but uh, you're not going to let anyone stop you. You're going to be just focused on the, the, the challenge, challenges ahead and you're going to be driven to get through it, okay? So you can do it, okay? You can do it, Taurus. Now, coming into the near future, you have the Page of Cups. So precious. You may have um, be dealing with a younger water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I also see a love message here. Um, now, uh, this is um, puppy love, so it's not like a full-blown, uh, you know, whirlwind romance. I'm seeing here a small message coming in for you. And it's something very delightful, okay? You know that expression, good things come in small packages. I think you're going to be getting some kind of a gift now. It could be a message, a gift, something. I just see... Um, I also see someone opening something in their in their mailbox that's very delightful, that delights you. We can go in and clarify that, um, but I do feel like uh, there is uh, someone or something coming in here that is going to surprise you, and uh, the word is delight you. So fantastic, that's really fantastic. Um, I'm going to clarify the... I want to clarify the Five of Cups in reverse 
here. Mm, and possibly the Moon and the Page of Cups for you, okay? So we're going to start with the Five of Cups in reverse. Why is the Five of Cups coming up reverse for Taurus? Well, there's the Ace of Wands again, okay, and the, uh, the Emperor. So there's possibly something here that has, um, I'm seeing passion, okay, uh, something like the spark of passion here. I have the sign of Aries and the sign of Leo. So you could be dealing with an Aries or Leo. Um, the Emperor also is someone who can be very much, he's not emotional, he's more logical. And um, here we have a little Napoleon. So this is someone who, you know, is likes to be your boss, um, can be very bossy. Um, they're very good at business, but when it comes to love, they like to be in control of their emotions. They don't really show very much. Uh, below the surface there. So why is the Five of Cups coming up? This is a lot of fire energy actually. Why is the Five of Cups coming up in reverse for Taurus? Two of Pentacles. You have someone um, juggling here and um, it seems like there's maybe some uncertainty or possibly confusion. Um, you may be dealing with a fire sign, like I said, Leo or Aries here. And I see also that there's something that you want for yourself. Um, creatively, passionately, and you are kind of on the fence about it. It's interesting that we have the Ace of Wands coming up again. This is definitely a challenge for you. Um, if you are, this could also have to do with like your sex drive, your libido. And uh, with regards to a fire sign here, and you may be kind of um, on the fence about what you want to do with this person. See, why is the moon coming up in the foundation? Why is the moon coming up in Taurus's foundation? We have the devil and the five of wands. There can be some unhealthy attachments here, um, addictions. Um, the devil can also represent sex, physical attraction, etc. Uh, but it seems that this is something that is very, um, seeing a lot of, seeing like you're dealing with a bit of a monster here. You have a bit of a monster on your hands. And this can um, cause aggravation, okay, because I'm seeing the monster, this little snake creature is like spewing little balls at her. And yeah, I feel like you're, you're quite entangled in something here and um, you've maybe been fighting a lot or have had a lot of um, petty hassle struggles and etc. going on. Why is the moon coming up here in Taurus's foundation? Why is the moon coming up? Seven of Cups. Yeah, you're a bit, I see someone who's a bit confused and lost here. You, we have a little bit of an Alice in Wonderland situation going on. Uh, while I feel like you're, you've been, char you're charmed by this person, I also think that uh, they surprise you in ways that are very annoying and make at the end of the day you just feel lost. You're like, what is this? What is happening to me? Well, I, I do feel like you have passionate uh, desires 
uh, etc., you end up just feeling confused and um, uncertain. Okay. Let's see, why is the Page of Cups coming up in the future for Taurus? What is this Page of Cups? King of Pentacles. Okay, could be an Earth sign. Well, that would be you, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or maybe a Capricorn. But I do see um, possibly this is how you're going to be um, over the next two weeks. I see someone very stable, but also that has like a softer side to them. Why is the Page of Cups coming up in the future for Taurus? Maybe a bit stubborn. You can be a bit stubborn as well, but also you have a, an immature side to you. Seven of Pentacles. This is kind of the wait and see approach. Um, you might be seeing what um, you know what you attract. See what you attract with your sweeter side. You may be trying a different approach here, softening up a bit. But I definitely feel like this is your energy coming through. And we have the star, um, which is to me hope renewed. So feeling very hopeful, feeling very optimistic. Um, I sense that your more playful side will be coming out. And I think you're the one that's going to be sending the love message. You're the one that's going to lighten up here um, after having gone through such a dark period. So. Um, the question is, can you regain the passion in the relationship or can you get your libido back on track, etc.? Because I feel like that's what's been kind of on, been um, put off uh, for a while and you've had to fend off a lot of challenges. But I do see that you will be optimistic and hopeful once again in the future. So we're going to go ahead and pull a guidance message for you. And let's see, what is Taurus's guidance message from June 1st through the 15th for all Tauruses that may be watching? What is Taurus's guidance message? Please help guide them on their high spiritual path in love and in life. Well, this card has been coming up for a lot of signs. Um, it came up for Gemini. Some of you may have a Gemini in your chart or be dealing with a Gemini. So I see Aquarius, Capricorn, Gemini, and Aries, and Leo coming up in this reading. So um, we also have the star card, which is coming up in your future. Um, and this resonates with the star. So let me go ahead and read you the message. That is number 17. Keywords are forgive, offer, receive, serenity, hope, inspiration. A peaceful healing energy surrounds you right now, Taurus. This is an ideal time to bring healing to your relationships and realize your hopes and dreams. This card could be presenting itself to ask you, isn't it time for forgiveness? Understand that no human being can ever be perfect. By accepting this, you're in a position to forgive yourself and those with whom you're involved. Forgive freely and without reservations, as blame and resentment are heavy weights to bear. By forgiving, you'll feel a weight lifted from your shoulders and become enveloped by deep serenity. You'll also give the gift of serenity to the other person. Don't just offer forgiveness, also offer your love and thoughtful insight. Open, non-judgmental dialogues with others, sharing what you've learned and how you've grown. By doing so, you'll be encouraging others to practice forgiveness. With hope for the future, relationships can blossom. Please know too that by forgiving yourself and embracing a hopeful spirit, you also invite new relationships into your life. At the same time, be willing to receive the blessings that others have to offer you. Be open to their insights and guidance. 
Listen objectively to what others have to say and act upon that guidance if it feels right for you. Be receptive to divine inspiration as well. It surrounds you at this time. Heal yourself, heal your relationships, and be at peace. Affirmation. I offer and accept healing in my relationships and I am at peace. Traditional tarot archetype is the star. Therefore, if you are in um, a soulmate union here that hasn't been going well, um, I do see happiness there for you. And um, perhaps there is an aspect of this relationship that does need healing and forgiveness. Okay, uh, because you have all the right ingredients. You have all the right ingredients. All right. Taurus, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. If you resonated, please like, share, and comment. Be sure to subscribe so you can receive updates whenever I do release a new video. And if you'd like to book a private reading, I do have openings available check below in the description for my details. Take care of yourselves. I send you off with many blessings, love and light. Bye.